Welcome, welcome to my channel. What's up, Libra? About to do your New Year's reading. All right, so please remember to like, click, share, subscribe, and comment on the video. Let me know what you're going through. Take it how it resonates, and if it doesn't resonate, don't take it. Anything you want to learn about me, get a glance at me in the uh, description below, and let's go. All right, Spirit, give me a message for my Libra Collective. Virgo took me out, y'all. I'm tired. So I'm going to finish up with Libra. And then I got, who else I got? I got Scorpio and Sagittarius left. Let me see if I can get through them. If I feel like I'm draining, I'm not going to do it because that's not fair to you. Let's see. Let's see how Leo, Libra goes. Spirit, give me a message for my Libra collective. I'm working on. Just keep cars is flying. Hold on. I'll take my time, please, Spirit. Nope. There go one. Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. I feel like you freed yourself from something. Two of Wands. A bit. In your head, thinking about something. Contemplating. I feel like you got crossroads energy. Which way do I go, George? Which way do I go? Yep, you're going somewhere. It is sores. Why are you trapped in your head? Libra, what, what are you stuck on? Tell me more, spirit. Okay, that turned around. Oh, somebody is worried. Work. Okay, Libra, somebody is working on their maturity because the emperor is in reverse over the eight of, eight of coins, and that's working on yourself. Somebody realize how immature they are or unstable that they are, feeling out of control, want more control of their life, made possibly of people around them. Nine of cups to the four of cups, so somebody left. A situation, Eight of Cups type energy, didn't like their options, Four of Cups. Hmm. Knight of, Knight of Swords. All right, so somebody's in a crossroads, um, but now they want to come rushing into a situation or to a person. There's a rushing in. Three of Wands, right? Next steps are taken. Knight, Knight of Coins. Somebody knows what direction that they're heading in now. Which is away from whatever drama, trauma, issues that they had before. Maybe somebody's like, I need to grow up. And so they're trying to walk into adulthood now. Page of Cups. But they're still mature. And it's, it's, it's a newness, right? Baby steps. You got to start somewhere. This is what I'm getting. Overall energy. To a source. Oh, gosh. All right, so I feel like there is uh, immature energy who has to make some decisions they don't want to make, and I think it's because now someone has to adult. That's the vibe I'm getting. Somebody needs to adult, and they are, they're not feeling ready to adult. They know they need to. They want to, but then I think they're confused. I think they're, like, unsure or feeling stuck in childhood, but knows that they need to make an offer or they need to step up in some way. They need to, you know, be an adult, really. Because here we start off with this immature energy of an emperor in reverse to me is, is a person that refused to grow up and kind of stuck in their... Um, current state of mind, you know, somebody that with that lack growth, but then at the same time, with the Eight of Pentacles, realize I, I actually need to work on myself, you know, maybe they don't want to be out of control, or, or I should say, or feel out of control, you know, I, I don't think anybody wants to feel that way, I just feel like they may finally have acknowledged that they need to do better, or that, or someone told them, you, you need to do better. So, 
Libra. We got the Nine of Cups, which is, you know, Treasure Island. This is somebody who wants their wish fulfillment and love, but yet they lack what they think is the right choices to make. You know, this is apathetic energy, bored. Bored with the options they have. Wanting this, but feeling like this. Hmm. And then you got crossroads energy of the two of wands. It's like a decision needs to be made. And they want to come rushing in like, I, I, I know what I want, but they don't know what they want because you wouldn't be confused. You wouldn't have two wands here if you knew what you want. It'd either be the eight or the three. Now, the challenge is being sure what you want. The Knight of Pentacles. This is my challenge lesson position. Being sure what you want and going toward it. This is making efforts. Three of Wands is expansion. It's like, okay, I know what direction I want to go in now. I've, I've lit the fire of my two wands and now I'm going in the direction of the one wand, meaning I've down what I want. But because they were immature in the past, I feel like a victim or I feel unsure. I feel a little stuck. I can't I can't move forward. Page of Cups, I know I need to. My heart is pounding and racing. I know there's something more out there in life and I know I need to take a step, but I just don't know how. And I don't know how because I'm, I just, I'm almost refusing to make a decision that is just clawing at me. So I feel like somebody has help with this four of cups and this nine of cups. Somebody has wish fulfillment, but for some reason, they're not moving toward it like they should. And the hidden energy, they would rather, they would want to run, come running in. But I don't know if they'd say the right thing. I don't know if they do the right things because they want to rush in. The lesson is to take your time and come in slowly with clear direction. Mm. So, yeah, I feel like somebody is battling with themselves over when, where, how to do a thing, how to come in, how to uh, state my claim or my my affections or my wants and my desires or my goals. I feel like someone is uh, realizing they got to work on themselves. They got to do more because they've been in a very immature energy. You know, a lot of this is due to upbringing too. But, you know, at the same time, you know, no matter what happens to us as kids, we're responsible for our healing and our growth. And I feel like somebody realizes that they need to grow. And they look uh, all over the place as to how to do it. Maybe they're not getting guidance as a pre-adult. I would say pre-adult because it could be a teenager. This could be a young adult in their early 20s. But somebody is it's like, dang, I know what I want, but then I don't know how to get it. I feel like I need to rush in, but then maybe that's not the right way. The lesson is to slow down, be sure about what I want, and go toward that. Yeah. But I feel a little stuck because I'm not being mature and I'm not I'm not stepping into my adulthood. Maybe they don't feel ready. Tell me more, spirit. Oh, I said like, we have the empress in the, and the uh, emperor here, but this empress is in reverse. So in the previous energy, this empress probably was keeping this emperor back. Because both of them are in reverse. And I, these cards, I don't read reverse. However, this reverse. So I'm going to read it like it fell. There was two immature, codependent energies. But somebody realized, and I feel like it's the emperor realizes, he got to work on himself. This empress, she may not want to work on herself. But he knows he has to. He knows. He fell out with this, to clarify the Eight of Pentacles. He is aware he wants to grow. Right? He's dissatisfied with life. And this empress could care less. Because she probably feels like, yeah, well, you need to just take care of me. Do me. That's past energy. All right? Because the empress in reverse 
is a nasty individual who just feels like everybody else should bow down while they do nothing for them to bow down to. They have no kingdom. The Empress in reverse. She is a scorned queen. Uh, I should say above all queens. But, you know. Or at least she thinks she is. She she don't have what it takes to be a true empress. Yeah, and this caused this person. There's a lot of cups. This person is very emotionally challenged right now. And they're very stuck in their childhood and their past. And that's what I was picking up with this emperor in reverse. Like he's immature. The six of cups in reverse. This is like um, not one getting off, not wanting to get off the apron strings, kind of just really recluse and stuck. I, I just keep getting stuck energies throughout this reading. This apathetic energy, this boredom, this stuck, stuck, stuck energy, you know. The nine of cups is also laziness, like not wanting to do what it takes. Eight of cups, you walked away from all the heartbreak, now you don't want to do nothing else. But nines are also endings, right? Um... Before the new beginning, before you get that one ten of cups to spark it all up. <sighs> Tell me about this two of wands with this knight of swords spirit one at a time. One at a time. The devil. This empress is the devil. This empress energy. She would she all this person wants to keep this emperor stuck. In childhood this could be her son just somebody who you know what I mean what just don't want them to grow want them to be codependent want to be able to manipulate them want to be able to control their lives Wow so if you're dealing with a masculine and he got mommy issues this is it this is it and mommy is the devil energy trying to keep him stuck Trying to keep him on a on a tight chain. Do what I say. I only I know the right way to go. And she don't know crap because she ain't never done nothing. That's why she is the emperor in reverse. But she talked like she did. Come on, Spirit Girl. One at a time. What's the lesson this, this emperor reverse learn? There's no justice in this. <laughs> it's not fair. Life is not fair. And neither is the situation with this Empress energy. You know, this person feels um, torn up. This person feels uh, played with, hurt. Mm. This person feels a lot of childhood trauma, a lot of injustice. They probably go through a lot in the court system. They probably lose a lot of money. Because this is on the Knight of Pentacles. Their dreams and goals are never met because every time they attempt something, they don't get too far. Or they move like they're molasses and they feel like they're never getting anywhere. Because they constantly have this empress and her toxicity in their ear. Keeping, keeping them in a child's position instead of helping them grow into a masculine, male, you know, man, manly position. You know, if this is a a female with a with a male. This is somebody that's not allowing that male to grow up to be a man. Mm, mm, mm. All right, tell me more. Why the page and the eight of swords is here? I feel like he's so stuck. Yeah. Oh. Um. But just, let me just tell you how that won't last forever. That won't last forever. The tower is here. Whatever hold she either has over him or, um, yeah, I'm going to say it like that. Whatever ha hold she has over him is, is quickly diminishing because he, he's about to be forced to make a decision. Um, I feel like whatever foundation they have is crumbling as we speak, like in present time. This might be the likely outcome, but it's coming down. These ropes are coming down. His fears are getting reduced. I think that, you know, this, this masculine may be going through the dark night of the soul or some type of spiritual awakening where he's recognizing who she is and what is holding him back. 
because I can tell that he knows he got to work on stuff. He knows he wants to grow. He wants to advance, but she's holding him back. He's apathetic. He's not interested in her anymore, but he feels still like in a child's place. He's in a crossroad energy because he knows he has to do something and he wants to fight to continue to do it, even though the devil is here. The lesson was it's unjust. And he still wants to move. He has expansion in his mind. He wants to grow. So this holding him hostage, keeping him in a child's place or, you know, keeping his mind stuck ain't going to last. He going to take that cup of love and it's going to go somewhere where it's going to either fed into his purpose, his desires, his dreams. It could be another. It could be a person. So it could be you, Libra. Um, if you're not this person I'm speaking of, you know, this person has, they know where they want to take their cup and it's not with this person. And they're reluctant though, because she got them all in their head. This emperor's in reverse has this person not wanting to make a decision they have to make, not wanting to make the decision that their soul wants to make, their heart their head, everything in their body wants them to make a different choice. This is how she'd rather have them. You know, pouring that cup out, not pursuing their goals, their dreams, staying stuck and miserable and unhappy with her unhappiness. But this is where they are. They got their full armor on. Like, no, I'm go I gotta go. I feel like this person is still determined no matter what. But the tower is here. So all I can say is. With the tower being here, uh, it won't be much longer before a, I feel like divine steps in and makes the decision for them, meaning shakes this whole situation loose, releases the bondage and, and, and the ropes and the things that bind them to this devil energy. The chains will be broken. That's an absolute fact. The chains will and are currently being smashed. Smashed apart, fire booming. I hope nobody, you know, experiences anything to the point where it's like, um, how could I say this? Now, I'm not wishing nothing bad on anybody, but I feel like what's about to happen or what's currently happening in this situation may be a bit devastating, but for who, I hope it's not the person that's uh, being victimized. You know, the devastation is going to occur. It's going to occur, but how it occurs, you know, only the only the universe is going to be able to uh, dictate that. But there is a devastation coming. And I hope and pray that it all survives in some way. But this, this queen, this, I'm sorry, this empress is a karmic faker. Yeah, okay, so she was posing as the queen of pentacles, which is mother and energy, right? So she was posing like someone who, I got it. You need it from me. I'll give it to you. Don't don't worry about anybody else. Mm. Jezebel spirit. Posing as that, but wanting it. Wanting it from the person. <sighs> Projecting onto them her insecurities. Trying to get them to mirror her. Be like her. Do what she do. And when she don't, she imposes her will on them with this devil energy. It's like, bow down. You know what I mean? Mm. And no, I noticed no other kings here. So this, this person feels like a, a defeated child. And they don't have to. It's really all in their mind at this point. If it, this is an adult we're talking about, all they have to do is work on themselves to grow up. Yeah. They have to now see beyond the illusion, which is what the devil presents you with, an illusion. This is judgment energy. This is like them having to finally acknowledge the culprit of majority of their issues and then decide how or that they should heal themselves, right? And they don't not necessarily need to know how to but that they need to, that they need to take efforts and steps to do that. Mm, 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 mm. All right, tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more, Philippa. 
get it. <laughs> I just said they need to know. They need to know that they should, not necessarily how. Here's the guidance. This is in the challenge position. They need guidance. That means that could mean a therapist, a life coach, um, clergy, a spiritual advisor, you know, some, uh, I don't know, a Reiki master. If you got, you know, trauma stored in your body, you need to release it. They need some type of help and assistance. That is the challenge. They need to be, but this kind of energy don't want you to ex accept or look for or seek out ex uh, assistance because then that means you can break free from them. All right, but the tower is here, so that means the breaking free is going to happen regardless of what they want. Yep, spirit wants you to put your pieces back together. Take it how it resonates. If it don't resonate, don't take it. But, you know, flip the script. You know, if you're a cross watcher, you know that somebody needs to mend their broken pieces and put the puzzle back together. And, and they, they got to start with the foundation of the puzzle. That could be, and that starts with the head. You know, the mind is so malleable when a person is a child. Six of Cups energy. When they're by themselves, you know, this is the kind of energy that uh, grooms a child to do, to, to do what they want them to do. That projects onto that child, makes everything their fault. You know, narcissistic parental energy. They inflict a lot of wounds, mental wounds that you can't see on that child. And it's time for that child to figure out how they want to heal or at least start their journey. I feel like this is now, when that tower comes down, the journey will begin. Bottom of the deck, new vision. That's like hangman energy, but this is new vision. I mean, like I see the world differently now. You know, my glasses that I wore all this time were muddy. And I thought that that was the way you're supposed to see, through muddy glasses. And when I take my glasses off, I can't see. They always tell me, put my glasses on. So I put my glasses on. But one day I decided to put a little soap and water to them glasses. And now I got a new vision. Now I see things differently. Now I understand things differently. And I'm ready to break free of the illusion. Wow. Wow, Libra. Oh, shoot. All right, let me hurry up and give you your oracle. Wow, Libra, breaking free, growing up. We growing up, we're strong, Libra. That tower was here. It's going to be a, a whole lot of reckoning going on. All right, Spirit, give me a message, message from my, my Libra collective. Transformation. The transformation has begun. I'm so happy for my Libra collective. Blessings to you, Libra. Give me one more. No, give me two more. One at a time. Signs and reminders. Spirit is telling you things along the way to let you know you're going in the right direction. But Spirit is jumping in there. Yep. Forgiveness and understanding. Okay, so if this is apparent, I'm going to tell y'all, I don't believe in forced forgiveness. I don't. I don't. I don't believe that you got to forgive somebody just because they have a certain position in your life. I I just don't. That's just kind of like, mm, I don't want to say that. But, you know, whether it's a parent, whether it's a child, whether it's an auntie, cousin, sister, brother, uncle, friend, associate, boss, I don't owe you my forgiveness, okay? But... In order for your heart not to be cold like a rock, you got to find it in your heart to forgive yourself before you forgive anybody else. Forgive yourself and understand where you were and why you made the decisions you made. You know, you didn't know what you didn't know. Now that you know better, you could do better. Now that you know better, you could do better. Now, if you choose to forgive others, Choose to forgive others when you are ready, not because society tells you you must do that. You know, you don't. You don't have to. I'll be the one to tell you you don't have to. But you got to forgive yourself. That is a must. And then once you do that, once you experience that, bottom of the deck, expect miracles in your life. When that tower falls because the mask came down, 
you saw what you saw, you completed the cycle, because this is also world energy. This is a completion. This is the end to all of that. When that tower comes down and you complete that cycle, Spirit said, expect miracles overall. You are a miracle. Let's start there. You are a miracle. And your trans, 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 I'm about to say transportation. I might not even have a transportation issue because I could barely get that out. But your transformation is going to be phenomenal. So Libra, that is your message. Thank you for coming to my channel. Don't forget to hit like, uh, share, subscribe, all that. Uh, comment in the comment section. Let me know how you, how, you go, how you resonate with the message or you don't. Either way, talk to me now. Talk to me. All right. Happy New Year, Libra.